Hey guys, I'm here with my new 2022 Volvo VNL 860 and let's go and take a look inside and see what this thing looks like. Alright guys, so with this we did, we were able to order this custom color. That is one of the options that we do get here as uh, company drivers. And let's go and open this thing up and see what we got. Alright, so opening up, we got the wide ride plus seat by Serta. Man, that thing looks comfortable. And even though everyone thinks that a Fovo is always automatic, we do have a 13 speed here. All right, so we're gonna start up here and go, let me go and shut the door. We're gonna go ahead and uh, start from uh, left to right and kind of go over this thing. So over here, we do have your lock and unlock right here. We have the mirror heater. We do have uh, left mirror and right mirror and the controls move it left to right, up and down. Right here, if you don't know, uh, with the Fopos, this is the uh, door opener. That's the lever from the door. All right. So it does look like we have our dim lights right here. Uh, we do have our breaker lights for the back right here. Cancel resume. I'm assuming that is going to be for the cruise control. I'm assuming this one's going to be the cruise control itself. Uh, we have your answer call, your answer call, and your hang up. And apparently, there, with this new one, there's a mute feature. This could be your. This one right here is going to be the city horn, and as always, the emergency horn. So it does look like we got a couple of new features. I'm not quite sure exactly what these do, but we will go ahead and play with them later on. I'm assuming this one is uh, uh, to change the next song. This one's go back to the next song, uh, but we'll play with that a little bit later and see what that is. So. Here we do have our uh, lock differentials. This is something that's kind of new. Uh, apparently we have mud and snow uh, option for traction. That would be actually kind of nice compared to the automatics that don't have that option. This is to slide your fifth wheel right here. And this is to lower the fifth wheel. We have the uh, controls that are normally on the uh, 2018 which is the truck that I'm coming out of and it's right about the same as before we do have the Volvo stereo and believe it or not this thing actually works pretty good and so this new feature that they've done is now apparently we could sit there and move these let's go and try to see if we can figure it out yeah so the cup holders are here, which is kind of nice because it opens this wide open. And apparently we have new storage for right here. That's actually kind of nice. And let me see if I can, oh nice. So it just pops out. You can go ahead and pop it over here if you want it. So you grab like this, pop it here. I thought it slid there for a second. That's actually kind of nice. That way you can move it wherever your hand is accustomed to grabbing the coffee cup or water bottle, whichever. Alright, here we go. Let's go and turn on our sleeper lights. Let's go and check this thing out. Alright, so as you can see, we do have a storage compartment up here. Uh, this normally where I keep my hard hat, my safety vest, and everything like that right there. Right here is another open storage area. I keep knickknacks right here for the most part. So we do have another storage area, just bigger than one over here. That thing is amazing. Um, I, I'm gonna have to find one I'm gonna put there. So up here is a, another storage compartment. It looks like it's got all our manuals and everything like that in uh, it. And this is something that's kind of new. We got a uh, charging right in here. Uh, a cigarette lighter for charger. That's new, that's kind of cool. 
And of course we have our, Cla our Cobra Classic 29 LTD. And these things, I swear by them, they work amazing. Uh, once I get it all nice and set up, I could usually get it about half a 20 mile reach, which is kind of sweet for a Cobra. We do have a storage compartment here. That one's not very big. I don't really use them, uh, that one. And there's also another storage compartment right here. These ones are amazing. Um, these ones I've been known to, when I'm doing oversized loads, to put permits here. And also, um, anytime that I'm hauling hazardous material, I've had them right here while driving, if not in the door jam. Alright, let's go ahead and start opening this up. This one right here is the same thing as it was on the 2018. It looks like it's just as deep. What I normally do here is I'll keep my dry foods as far as canned goods um, with spaghetti sauce. I usually keep this stuff right in here. And on this other side, we do have one just the same. So back here, because I do like to cook in the truck, we do have this fairly decent size storage compartment right here. This where I normally keep all my pots, my pans, my stovetop burner, and it makes great storage for right here. It, I don't have to worry about it. It doesn't fall out because it does have a really nice locking me mechanism right here. And so I don't have to worry about things opening up. So, Right here is, the, is a great place to be able to have the, the microwave. And it fits a full size microwave just perfectly fine. Alright, so what we have here is one of the two drawers. These things are actually fairly deep. I am able to keep all my sweat uh, sweatpants when I have them during winter, uh, my cover my coveralls, my underwear, my socks, these fit perfectly just fine in this one right here. And with this one right here, it's just the same thing. Let's go and look here. We do have our refrigerator here. It's actually a lot better than when I had uh, before because this one actually has the three different shelves on uh, the 2018 Volvo that I have. It only actually had two shelves. It had the bottom one right here, and it had one of these. This one actually has three now. That's actually really nice. So we do have the flip up. That's actually nice. Apparently it's now magnetic, and you could sit there and connect it up. It's just magnetic right there. That way you can, don't have to hold it open while you're trying to get into the freezer. Matter of fact, while we're here, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. I usually keep mine at four and a half, five. I'm gonna turn it up to five for right now so that it could get cool and stay cool um, while I sit there and get ready to transfer everything over. But that's really cool. Nice part about this is we have the dinette set back here. So we got our chairs over here. We got our table with our two cup holders right here. And we also got the chair right there. With this, if it's the same way that the 2018 is, which I'm kind of hoping it is, there's a little hidden compartment back here. Yep. And this is where I normally keep my cleaning supplies, like my Windex and my and my Simple Green. I usually like to keep that type of stuff with the paper towels right in here. I've heard a little rumor that they were supposed to be doing the same on this side, and no, they do not, unfortunately. All right, so over here, we do have the TV. Very nice. They actually, looks like they've done this a little bit different where they are now clamping the TV in, which is kind of nice. 
one second let's go ahead and uh look behind it all right so it looks like they got the clamps let's look behind it right here and wow not gonna lie if i had to sit there and provide my own tv the way this setup is a lot better than what the old models were and yeah that's that's actually quite impressive so we got our direct tv unit right here uh, usually what I do is I normally put my Xbox on top and it looks the same as what the 2018 did but still amazing amazing piece of equipment that we have here today so push that back lock it back in place and the way to get it where you could unlock and swivel it so there's this this piece right here just pop it it's kind of hard to do with uh, pop it and grab it and it swings just like so but just pop it back there and it will sit there and hold now the nice part about this we do have a closet it's a fairly decent size and it's still a fairly decent size. It's got the reinforced bar, which is newer and a lot nicer than the one that, uh, that I had in the 2018. And with that, it's, uh, it's nice when you have the heavy kits and everything like that, that you're able to hang it up there and not worry about whether or not it's going to bend or anything like that. So underneath there, we do have another storage compartment right there. With this one, what I like to do is that's where I keep my drinks, like my water. Uh, every once in a while, I'll grab a case of soda, and uh, it fits just perfectly fine right there. <laughs> so we also do have this little storage compartment right here, which is where I normally keep my permit book. A lot of people like to keep them in the door jam. I like to keep them right here. Uh, I'm sorry, this is where I keep uh, my paperwork. So the paperwork that I've already scanned and, and I just got to turn in, I usually keep it right here. On this other side, we do have, here we go, another spot, just the same. This where I normally keep the, uh, to, let me get this out of the way. This where I normally, this is where I normally keep the paperwork that, you know, I'm ready to scan in and whatnot. And I just grab it from behind me, fill out the paperwork, scan my paperwork in, and I'm good. Right here underneath, we do have another one. And this is normally where I keep my, keep my permit book. Hey guys, sorry I wasn't able to finish the video inside the truck. I am getting a load that I had to sit there and get to real quick. But uh, overall, I drove it for the last few days. It's actually a really good truck. Um, it did really good up hills. And it's a real joy to actually drive. It's not the stereotypical, it's a Volvo type truck that everyone tries to put on it. On an honest review, I actually quite enjoy it. And it's just an amazing truck. If uh, you got any questions, feel free to ask me. If there's something you would like me to cover, go ahead and just go and put it in the comments and I'll be more than glad to go over it. All right, thank you guys. You have a great day. Bye.